people and I'm 15 years old now. Hello everyone, I'm your host, Serena Roper-Smith, and welcome to our new segment, Are You As Dumb As A Blonde? I'm here today with freshman Lizzie Tepaski. Now, tell me Lizzie, many people believe that blondes are dumb or ill-fitted for long-lasting relationships, political positions, or anything requiring a high IQ. Do you believe that in reality, this is an absurd stereotype, or is it for real? I have straight A's with all honors classes and better grades than some of my other friends with different hair colors. So yes, I believe that it is definitely an untrue stereotype. Yes, you don't sound like a dumb blonde to me. If I had dark hair, I may see Lizzie as stupid or trashy, when in fact she is smart and classy. It's not like she dresses in a way that makes her seem like this, or that she is incapable of getting a good grade. It's the stereotype that has been put in our head that we just can't shake. Another problem with these kinds of stereotypes is that they cause feelings to be hurt. Would you say you feel victimized by blonde jokes? Well, I feel that people don't take me seriously. Although they say bad things about blondes as a joke, that reference has to come from somewhere, even if it's a subconscious impulse. As you can see, even when jokes are made to be funny, they can sometimes be taken literally. People may still be influenced by these jokes to believe that blondes are less intelligent than others. As much as we wish it wasn't true, people walk by every day judging you, whether it's unconsciously or not. What do you have to say about this? People in the class don't expect me to be able to do the work correctly. It offends me, but it also makes me want to prove them wrong. Thank you, Lizzie. I feel the same way. I am also blonde, and although these assumptions are not uncommon, this single story proves that not only is the dumb blonde stereotype incorrect, but that all stereotypes have many exceptions. That is, even if a stereotype seems to be true, there is always someone to break it. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Lizzie. Thanks for having me.